Hello friends, welcome back. In this video, we will be going to study about the data types. See, what are the data types in Java and why do we need them? First of all, going for the data type, I would like to ask you, do you know what is data? So, let's have a quick recap. You can say that the data is a raw fact and figure. Okay, so you can say data is a raw fact and figure but, and it has some information or it has something to represent. Okay, so data the type represents the set of possible values a variable can hold in our program and in java we have many things that we need to know like for example if i declare let's take an example first that int a is equals to 10 so in my computer memory what will happen let's say that this is my computer memory okay so in this my computer memory a will be pointing, will be referencing to one of the box and let's say this is a box and it will be storing 10 in my computer memory and it will be referenced or pointed by A. So whenever in my computer I would be asking, hey A or rather I would say just like simple print A. So my computer will go and look to A that in the computer memory what A is pointing to. Oh A is pointing to 10, great. So it will give me an output 10. Okay, so this is what this was my computer memory. Okay. So in the similar way, we need some variables that have to store some data in their program. So what other we have to make sure that the these data types we know that which variable or which variable is storing which value. Okay, so like this is an integer type of a value. We can have many many more values. Okay, so we will just look up more these of data types in the Java program. So I will just drag this up and see more about your data types. So Java basically provides us two data types, a category of data types are two in Java. So I will draw this entire flowchart for you and you can just see it and learn it. So Java has data types that are of two. The first is known as a primitive data type. Okay, this is known as a primitive data type. Rather you can say a primitive type, we people some also call it as a fundamental data type. Okay, if you got someone say what are the fundamental data types, don't get confused. It is the primitive data type only. Okay, and here we have non-primitive data type. This is non-primitive data type. In this non-primitive data type, people sometimes say it also as reference data type. So you need to know the names so that sometimes the people may not confuse you. You should know the both the names. Okay, so these are the two bifurcations or two branches of the data type in Java. Okay. In primitive data type, we have many, many more. So let's see. Okay, so I will give you this glimpse. Okay, so we have first is the numeric. We have numeric data type. After this, we have character data type. Okay, and then in after character, we have boolean data type. Okay. In this boolean data type, we have only two things. Let me make this very clear to you. We have only two things that could be either false or true. These are the only two data types that are present in boolean. Okay, after this, let's complete this chart first, then we will move ahead. In this character data type, we have care data types. All the care data types that could be represented in a single code are known as the character data type. Okay, so that could be your simply, we can say simple A to Z or capital A to capital Z. Any single character that has been represented in a single code is a care data type. You can have your digits 0 to 9. You can have your special symbols also. Okay, you can have your special symbols in this. So, I'm just moving my slide a little bit up for the better visibility. Okay, so you can have anything or you can have dollar, you can have uh, at the rate, any character. Just you have to make sure that they are within single quotes. I will give you a practical glimpse, but that's here. For there, we can move ahead. In numeric data type, I have many, many, many. Okay, so this does not stop here so i will just move a slide little bit here so that you can have your numeric data type here it is in three branches okay your numeric data type is of three types i will write all these here first we have okay so just give me this let's remove this we need only two as of now so we have only two data types okay so first one goes is integer then you have is float or other people sometimes say floating it's up to you integer and you can say rather floating or dl types of data type in integer we have much other further classification and in floating thank god we have only two that is only float and double okay this is float and double i will tell you what is the difference between float and double in the upcoming few minutes 
and in integer we have four types okay so an integer is a big one it is having four types i will write this for here the first is of bytes then we have is of integer or rather int then short and long okay so these are we have these here it's done we are finished with the primitive data type now moving on to our non reference data type okay so let's move on to the non reference data type here in the non reference data type are those data types okay they are basically the data types that store address instead of the value they store address in them the variables don't store the values they store address okay so they could be classes arrays interface and many more okay you can have class you can write class also here it's not an issue you are having these type of data types what does this non reference means you would be as you would be recalling like i had made a class here in the eclipse id we were making a class first program so this class first program is not having any data type of its own it is taking all the data types of the primitive data all this category is been saved in the class you can see here in the class we are having many if i declare integer variable if i declare a string variable and many more variables so it will have a combination of all the variable all the primitive data type variables okay so these are the derived they take you can say that the non primitive data type take the values they take the values from the primitive data type here i am writing short primitive type they are taking the values from the primitive data type okay and instead of storing the data you they store the address that where in the computer memory is this thing stored okay let's take a very simple example here if i write this class program first this program first will store the address let's say where is my this program is being stored it will store in this computer memory it won't store the exact entire program uh, this entire program that system not print out in hello world no it will just reference to the memory location okay it will let's say the memory location is 100 here the entire program is stored so this first program won't store the data of this it will show the memory location that at 100 position my entire program is been stored so that's it in the non primitive data type we will dig up more in the further videos but i just want to tell you that these are the basic things that you need to know in this program or in this data type in java these are the basic and most fundamental important after this you need to know their size also because depending upon the size only you will use them not as it whenever you need like you feel like you have some restrictions you need their sizes and then only we can use okay so like when you have to use when your data type or your integers in the integer let come first let's discuss about the integer only here so okay so let's start with their data size also so if you want to use if your data type if you are using byte so your data type your size of the data here i am writing the size size of the data should be 8 bits only okay 8 bits or 1 byte okay so you can have your range the range goes from minus 128 to 127 including of zero so it could be just 2 raised to the power minus 2 raised to the power 7 to 2 raised to the power 7 minus 1 so this is your way you have to go for it okay so after byte comes is short okay we will just write discuss the size of this it takes 16 bits long or you can say okay so it's you can say 16 bits and not 16 bits if you want so you can just write simple um let's erase this first or you can say it's simple 2 bytes okay 2 bytes or 2 bytes after this we come to short and it's after short we are to integer it is 32 bits or you can say it's 4 bytes okay how it's it but because we know that one byte is equals to 8 bits so you can write either in byte or in bits it's up to you and then if you want a very you have a very very big digit or very big value to store then you have is long it can store up to 8 byte of data okay very simple so the range can go up as simple as that minus 2 raised to the power 16 to 2 raised to the power 16 minus 1 and similarly it will be minus 2 raised to the power 31 Okay, sorry, my bad. It is fifteen here. Okay, so here is also fifteen. So it will be minus raised to raised to the power thirty one minus one, and it will be minus raised to the power two sixty three to two sixty three minus one. Okay, why it is minus one? Because zero has to be also included. Okay, 
so after this we have is the floating type that i have discussed it is of we have only two floating type that is float and double okay whenever we have our real numbers we need to store any real number we can use either float or double okay but if your real number is not too big not too large you can use this float because its size is 32 bits or other you can say 4 bytes and here you can say 64 if your large if your number is very large okay it's very big you might think that it not may fit in the float so you can use your double also okay so this is your double you can use your double so in float you can this double you can store like 8.17 and like this these are the real numbers that you need to store you can have them you can store negative also and positive also after that we were having a character type so character type we can have any digits that we any digit or any character we can store like here let's say here we can just write a so this is my character data type or i write rather capital a it is character data type rather i write one numeric one but you just have to make sure that these all have to be stored within single quotes if they are stored within single quotes then it means whatever it is it is of character data type okay and then we have is boolean so boolean we knew that boolean can either have only two values that is true or false so it is used for the authenticity you can say for the statement and here you can say this i just forgot that the character only has the size it takes 16 bytes only or rather you can say 2 bytes whereas in the boolean it only takes one bit nothing else only one bit of memory size it occupies not more than that okay so now without wasting any time let's come back to the practical and let's try these all one by one okay in my id so what i will do i will just do int a equals to 10 after this int a equals to 10 this is my integer type of a variable and then i will just system dot out dot print ln and then i will just display whether let's see this integer type data is perfect or not so let's run this program and you can see the value of a must be displayed that is 10 so i just need to open my console if console is um, here is my console it has been here and you can see 10 has been displayed okay so now instead of integer let's take it to byte so okay so the byte value i told you it is it can store any number between minus 127 um, minus 128 to simply to 127 okay so let's take the value is 10 so it will definitely run and you can see 10 has been displayed again ab had it been i would have written 1000 you know it is out of the range so it will give an error you can see um, okay so let's say it is an error we will get a error displayed that it is not a data type this is not why because it is a very large data it is the data is very large for byte to handle but if i convert if i remove one zero it is within the limits so it will run okay after byte what you can have is short okay so short also you can display here and let's give it the short value 1000 so 1000 will be displayed very simply okay and then you have long okay for long let's give a big value uh, let's give it 5286 this is a very big value let's see whether it will run or not yes it executed perfectly after long we have is decimal points let's go for the decimal let's write here double and i gave some values and then it's executed and these are the values that have been perfectly stored in double in the same you can have for float and you can have this float after this but make sure that after float you write f to indicate that we are having a float data type okay because the values are compact they are small not as large as double so we can just need to write f here and let's see whether they will execute or not and perfectly it executed okay so you can see the values got executed and after this what we can do after this we can go for some other values that is char data type okay char ch and then let's write here in within single quotes a okay and here let's display a um nay nice, ch we need to display ch and let's see whether a will be displayed or not and you got a displayed perfect okay ab now had it been you write ak you know that a character can store only one character in it and if we go for this it will show me an error okay so let's see what is the error and it is saying hey you have an invalid character why because i told you previously that in character we can store only one character but there are two character a is the first character and k is the second character that is not allowed and if i remove the one character it is perfectly working you can see it will work and it is been simply running
after character we can come out to be on boolean okay so let's go for the boolean char boolean ch is equals to let's give ch is equals to true simple true value so you will see true will be displayed okay so you can see true has been displayed if i give false value then the false will be displayed this is false and this this false value will be displayed so this was all about the data type non primitive data type or reference data type we have already seen that they don't store any value they store simply the address so here this first program is a non primitive data type because we have seen that the class is a non primitive or a reference data type so this you can see here also that first program is what it is storing some variables inside it and what are these variables these variables are the primitive data type these primitive data type variables are stored in the reference variable so reference variable takes the values from these primitive data type and then this first program must be stored in the computer memory somewhere and it would be storing what the address that where it has been stored that's it for the data type see you in the next video